Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Cite While You Write, which is a great tool from EndNote that's going to allow you to format your bibliography and in-text citations according to the citation style that you choose. It's a huge time saver and I highly recommend. So it's a tool that you need to download and I'm going to show you where to find it. So I'm currently in my EndNote Basic account. EndNote Basic is also sometimes called EndNote Web or EndNote Online. And there are two ways to download it. The first way is to go to Format in the top taskbar and click on Cite While You Write Plugin, which will take you to a page with instructions to download it for your PC or Mac. And the second way is to go to Downloads, and you'll see another option here to download Cite While You Write for PC and Mac, and there are installation instructions. It is not a terribly difficult process. You do need to have your Word program closed while you do it. So I'm going to bring up my Word program, and you'll see at the top that there's now a tab for EndNote. And if you happen to have EndNote Desktop, which is the paid version of EndNote, and EndNote Basic, all you need to do to switch back and forth is go to Preferences, Go to Application, and you can choose to do EndNote Desktop or EndNote Online, and you'll need to sign in to your online account. So I've already chosen Online. I'll click OK. Now, depending on the citation style you'll choose, you'll need to pay attention to things like title page, headings, etc. I'm just showing you just the basic functionality of this tool. And so I'd like to start with APA 7th. And if you'll notice, I already had my EndNote Web, EndNote Basic, EndNote Online account up and signed in in my other, in my browser. So I've chosen APA 7th, and I'm going to start my manuscript. So this is my paper, and what I'd like to do is cite this. So I'm going to put the period and a space. I think that's the right thing for APA 7th. You'll need to check the format depending on what you use. You might need to do a little bit of proofreading and editing. And then I'll go to Insert Citations. Now I have a number of references in this account, and they deal with different things. I know some deal with cystic fibrosis, so let me look for those. I'll just search for those. It's going to search my library, which is open and logged in, and I can select the one that I want to cite. And I'll insert that. Oh, and I think, aha, I was in another, I was thinking along the lines of another citation style, so I do need to edit. The period goes on the outside, and uh, going to continue. This was an idea, let's say, that I wanted to cite. <sighs> Space, no period. I'm going to go to insert citation. I could look for an author if I wanted to say Burnett. Okay, so that's the one that I wanted, so I'll click that one. And we'll continue to type. I'm going to cite several references. Space, insert citation, and let's see, I'm going to go back to my search for cystic fibrosis. And it was, let's see, in theory, I'm going to cite the ding. Whoops. And I'm going to hold down Shift and click Butu. Oh, that's all of them. Let me try again. Ding, and I'll hold down Control and click Butu. That's right. So Shift will give you a set, and Control will help you select more than one. So I'll, I'll insert those. OK, so this is a great paper. It's ready to submit, right? Not really, but you get the point. It's not so hard to do. Now let's say I wanted to change the citation format here, the citation style. I'm going to come back up to citation style, and I am going to choose hmm, Chicago. Let's see what happens. It's going to look at my paper and reformat it. 
Okay, let's choose another style. Oops. We'll do Vancouver. Okay, so I think in some cases the period would go on the inside. I'm not sure exactly for this one. I'd have to look it up. But you will just want to give these a good look. Make sure there's no major typos or capitalization problems. But overall, it's a huge time saver, much easier than doing it by hand. So I recommend doing this. Um, I recommend using EndNote Site While You Write program. It is a great help. I hope this has been helpful to you. Feel free to reach out to me or your librarian for more help or assistance. And thanks for watching.